Hey folks, Brian Vendoek here, fire suppression product expert at Pierce. Today we're going to cover the Hercules CAV systems, a uh, general overview of what we can offer uh, for some of the different platforms in those packages. Um, the CAV system, when you look at an operator's panel, one of the things you'll first point out or, or notice is that the blue panel um, from the Pierce side and industry-wide standard is going to be as far as CAVs. Um, now, some of the big things with CAVs is that we offer two main packages and hydraulic packages for calves. We have 120 CFM and 140 CFM, uh, which typically can run one two and a half and two inch and three quarter or two inch and a half lines. We also have a 200 CFM system, which you can typically operate up to three two and a half inch lines or two two and a halfs and three inch and a halfs or inch and three quarter. Uh, kind of the same concept on that side of it. Uh, as far as your operational standpoint. Now, in order to operate the calf systems, we don't have the truck running here today as far as uh, volume wise, so we can hear what's going on. But as far as when you're operating any type of calf system, so some of the things you need to have. Number one, you need to have your water pump and water flow established. Number two, you gotta have some type of foam system on the apparatus running. On this particular one, we have a Husky 3 foam system. When we say a, a, a foam system operating, is that you gotta have at least a 0.3 or higher foam percentage injection rate flowing to one of the calf selected discharges that you have in the apparatus. Um, so basically the steps of operations for the calf system. So number one, there is a, there is a PTO calves on off switch inside the cab. So basically when you're running your operation here on the operator's panel, like I said, you'll establish your water flow, you'll establish your foam system flow and running. Then what you'll end up doing is that you'll go and hit the on off switch inside the cab. You'll come out to the calves panel and then you'll hit the selector switch over here to on. Now basically what that's gonna do is that it's gonna bring the calves system online or on board. Um, and at that point, what the system's gonna do is it's going to automatically per se match or chase the flow rates that you're doing for water as far as making sure it's balancing correctly, okay? So on, this, on the panel here, there's actually a switch right below the on off. It's actually for auto and manual. The auto portion is that chasing portion I was just talking about, the balancing side of things. So what you'll end up doing is that that's always gonna be preset to your auto pre-selection. So you hit the on switch, it's gonna come online. Then the next thing that you're gonna end up doing, okay, so let's see if we have this particular discharge, which is highlighted in blue once again, so you can kinda see as far as the color coordination. This would be one of the calves discharges. So let's see if you already have water flow established, I'll say about approximately halfway. You have water and foam flowing through there. Now you're gonna add calves to it. So once again, the calf system is running. Now the only thing that you need to do from your aspect is just hit the on switch right below it. All it's basically going to do is you're going to inject air in line into the system and then basically turn on your calves portion of it for that particular discharge. Now we always hear a lot of questions as far as how do you adapt between say wet, medium and dry calves. Uh, really at the end of the day what you end up doing is that you end up taking your water flow valve, you do not adjust your air flow, you end up adjusting your water flow. So what you'll end up doing is that if I'm going to say want a real thick or shaving cream like of calves, uh, we'll say dry. Um, what we'll end up doing is that we'll end up pushing the discharge valve closer to the closed position or gating or closing it off so that there's not much water flow but there's more foam air solution going in to make more of a, a frothy or shaving cream type solution. Now if you want a wet calves, so that's the opposite end of the spectrum where you don't want a lot of bubbles, but you want to be able to have more water flow. You'll end up taking your discharge and you'll go be going more towards your open side or gate the valve more fully open or like approximately three quarters of the way open. Big three things if you want to adjust your calves, think of quarter, half, three quarter. Those are your three points. We'll start with quarter. So quarter is going to be your dry, half is going to be medium, and then three quarters of the way is going to be your wet setting. Now if you want to turn calves off to that discharge whenever you're done, you can just legitimately just turn the off switch. And now if you're gonna be running multiple discharges, let's say if I have all my foam selected discharges opening, I'm using this as an example. Let's say if we have these, these five discharges here approximately halfway, and I wanna run calves to, I'll say these three discharges. I can let them exactly where they're at and just give a couple second delay between each one and turn air on or turn your calves on to each individual one and you can reverse the order when turning the system off accordingly. 
So when you run, like I said, the biggest thing, gotta have the water pump running, you gotta have the foam system running in order to run the calves appropriately or correctly. Now some of the things on the calves panel, just to kind of give you an idea, there is an air pressure gauge that we do include in our sub panels. So it'll give you an idea as far as what kind of air pressure the calves system is generating. There is also some other features as far as the oil temp on the compressor and a um, an high oil temp light, as well as an audible alarm that you'll be able to hear as well in case if the system does overheat. Um, the system is water cooled, so it's very rare that you'll have to do it. There's an inline strainer that you'll uh, clean out once in a while from a maintenance standpoint, but, but a very robust system and very straightforward. The other nice thing that Pierce does with our Hercules calves systems is that we do, as far as a default or a standard, we do offer a calves air outlet. So if you're running airbags or air tools, you do not necessarily need to be running as far as discharges on the truck to be able to operate it. You need to be running the water pump, but what you could basically end up doing is that the Cavs air outlet comes with a one inch fitting. Um, there's a fitting that comes in loose equipment with the truck and basically you open up the supply for the air. It's great for blowing out compartments, running air tools, those kind of items. So pretty straightforward for the Cavs system. Um, and like I said, we offer them in, in, in three typical platforms, 120 CFM, 140 CFM and hydraulic and a 200 CFM and a direct drive PTO configuration. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to one of our peer sales reps and we're here to help.